All right, guys, have you ever been in a situation where you could not find things that you really needed? You went to your closet, you couldn't decide what to wear, and then your house or your apartment was just super messy, and you got just really upset, and it was, it was just driving you crazy. Me too. So last year, to solve all those problems that I mentioned, I became a minimalist. So I am now putting on my coat because it it is um, 37 degrees outside um, and that is pretty cold. Five more degrees and it's going to be freezing. Really not not knowing what to expect with vlogging. I've never vlogged before, so this is going to be kind of cool. I'm kind of freezing. I don't do well in cold weather. All right guys, I'm gonna take you along to do the most un-minimalist thing ever and that is to go furniture shopping to buy a couch. And uh, I want to talk about that because I actually didn't buy a couch last year when I moved into this place and I just decided, you know what, you don't know what you don't need until you get rid of all the things you don't need. And that way your life becomes totally uncluttered and then you actually have a better sense of like thinking to uh, figure out what furniture pieces you need. And so that is what I'm gonna to do today. Alright, so I just arrived here at World Market and I'm about to go in and it's really funny because all throughout like college and uh, yeah, all throughout college and even after college um, for a couple years I actually worked in retail stores. So, so many different retail stores ranging from, you know, like electronics uh, to clothing to everything else in between and one of the things that I always did not like was just having like excess stuff. Like I always found that having a lot of stuff available and people purchasing it was always like kind of wasteful to me. So I think that was the reason why <laughs> when I discovered min minimalism, I was like, this kind of already aligns with what I believe about stuff. All right, this is my section. This is the section for the Australian snacks. But we had these in New Zealand as well. And so, ooh, look at that. These are super good. All right, I really love this painting. That is a beautiful painting. I might actually get that. And I also love this coffee table. My goodness, that is an awesome looking coffee table. It's like, rugged it's not quite perfect and it's got these beautiful little attachments in the center so like all this stuff is really pretty in the store but I don't know if I could justify putting in my apartment Ooh, I like this mirror Look at that cool Lena mirror right there. Nice wood. Nice black. So you know how they say that everything is bigger in Texas? It seriously is. So I'm at Nebraska Furniture Mart, which is the biggest furniture store in pretty much all of America. And it's huge. I'm here to buy a couch and hopefully I can find one today. You know, I, I very rarely go to the stores just because when I do go to the stores, there's always that temptation of like buying something else that you don't need. And what I need is very specific. And uh, that's because I pared down what I don't, uh, you know, need, don't use. And uh, so now for things that I really do need, like a new couch, it just makes it easier to have like more clarity of mind. So I find that just not being in the retail stores as often really helps me not to like have that impulse buying thing that most people fall into like all that temptation. Okay, 
What card would you like to use, Tracy? Um, I will Super just panel. use. I'm, I'm doing this because, like, I know I'm gonna forget how it looks like. Right. You will, you will. <laughs> All right. Good news. I bought a couch. I have a couch that's coming on Thursday, and uh, yeah. And uh, that is the beauty about minimalism. I knew exactly what I wanted. I came into the store, I chose it, and I found it, and I bought it. And now I'm going home. All right, so I cleared out my apartment. I actually posted what was here before, which was a giant, uh, giant seat on Facebook Marketplace. And within like, I don't know, like 20 minutes, someone had come and picked it up. So I guess it was really and hot items. So I've got my lamp there, curtains, two chairs, and then I will just um, put the new couch right there. So I've measured it because I'm obsessed with measuring and making things, you know, symmetrical, and it will be here on Thursday. So it's Thursday now, and the company, Nebraska Furniture Mart, is delivering my couch in like, well, they should be coming soon. So that's kind of exciting. Okay, so this area will not be as empty as it is right now. Pretty soon, this area, this area. And yeah, so I am just drinking my coffee, which I just made, and it's super good. And uh, I'm just waiting. Watching what Gary V right now. sitting on my new couch and it's pretty cool it's a lot bigger than I I remembered but I think it's just because everything else in my apartment is so small and now I actually have a couch that's gonna take up enough space in this area so yeah it's pretty firm but I actually like things that are really firm just because if it's too soft I actually have back problems since I work on a computer so much and so yeah it's pretty cool 